Hello and welcome to FourCornersTV.com. I'm Laura Schweizer and this is the Local Roundup. Here's your latest Four Corners cannabis update. Cortez is one of 90 towns in Colorado to prohibit commercial marijuana businesses. But after council members voted 5-2 to two to adopt regulations that monitor and control retail pot shops, things could change. A two-hour debate was filled with opposing viewpoints, or what the Cortez Journal called a generational divide. I'm sure you can guess who's in favor and who isn't. The moratorium for Cortez is in effect until December 31st, but it could be lifted sooner. Responsibilities for police are weighing heavy. Law enforcement officials in Denver are feeling overwhelmed with the new experimental regulations governing the pot industry, not to mention their lack in funding for those regulations. But the city and attorney general's office did spend $1.5 million on a human rat campaign to warn kids of potential pot smoking dangers. Yes, $1.5 million. Now, I'm not just blowing smoke here. The BLM and the San Juan National Forest Service are planning prescribed burns, one several miles north of Dove Creek and another in Salls Creek. The reasoning? To protect wildland communities, improve range conditions, and restore healthy forests. So if you see clouds of smoke, they're under control. Prescribed burn always makes me think of the beer served at Steamworks. And here in the Four Corners, Humulus lupulus is a plenty. That's another name for hops. A three-year study is testing the growth of 11 different hops varieties in our climate. Some crops are 20 feet tall, others not so high. Pay attention, home brewers. Advocates are hoping for a Four Corners hop co-op to help offset supply needs. And at $3.49 a pound, it would be nice to keep it local. And this weekend, a local event gets loud. Thousands of bikers are expected for the annual Four Corners Motorcycle Rally. More than last year's 10,000. And I'll be there. Catch the story at 10 a.m. this Sunday right here. But later today, our very own Simone headed to the front range to hear how they jam out. That's today on In the Neighborhood at 3 p.m. Earlier this week, I took part in the social movement of the summer, the Ice Bucket Challenge. But in Bayfield, I was outdone. Derek Hillier and Damon Lopez of Southwest Ag got dumped on. Two loads carried by Kubota equipment poured ice cold water to complete their challenge. I wonder if the next person they challenge has to outdo that. Thanks for watching the local roundup. I'm Laura Schweizer, and I'll see you Sunday morning.